Anyone who's ever played a fighting game has run into a move they thought was cheap, overpowered, yeah, or even broken. Of course, anyone could tell why this move is powerful. Overpowered, or even broken. Is he the Netherlands Mbappe? What's up, boys, and welcome to the Dutch Mbappe Players Wave You Episodia that is right today. We are looking at Myron Boadu, aka the Dutch Mbappe. Now, is he the Dutch Mbappe? No, because he doesn't have five star skill moves. However, he does have five star weak foot, and he is a ridiculous, ridiculous looking card. He's currently extinct on the Xbox. He goes for about 100,000 coins on the PlayStation. Took me about 45 minutes straight. I was on the PS5 originally, had to go to PS4 because it's a little bit easier to snipe. And uh, after about 45 minutes of nonstop sniping, I probably missed on about 150 of them. We finally got ourselves this Myron Boadu who plays for AZ Alkmaar who are currently third in the Eredivisie and he is the leading goal scorer for them. I believe he's the eighth or ninth top goal scorer in the Eredivisie. So the scariest thing about this card, once we take a look at the stats, you probably are not even going to believe what you're seeing when you look at the stats. Um... He may even be eligible for a Team of the Season card once the uh, Eredivisie Team of the Season rolls around. Assuming we get Eredivisie, who knows what's going to happen this year. Hopefully we get uh, an Eredivisie Team of the Season. He might fall into the rest of the world. But either way, would be absolutely ridiculous to get him. Maybe when Foot Birthday rolls around, give him four-star skill moves with the five-star weak foot. Something really, really fun like that. We're looking at this Myron Mbabu. Uh, Myron Mbabu. Myron uh, uh, Boadu. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that correctly. Interesting little fact about the card as well. Um, he is the first player born in the 21st century to feature in score for the Netherlands national team. So he also made his debut on November 19th, 2019. Uh, and uh, they say that he is one of the best examples of a modern poacher, a forward with an extreme focus on scoring goals, a product of AZ Alkmaar's talent factory, which, um, you know, the Eredivisie obviously is known for absolutely pumping out ridiculous, ridiculous cards. So we're going to look at the card today. I know some of you guys are interested in this one. Maybe someone you could pick up for your Eredivisie side. Very, very cool looking non-performance based Eredivisie, Eredivisie side. Uh, we have two sets of milestones players so that six players that you could throw into your squad uh, that you don't have to buy off the market, just grind towards objectives. Uh, and you have that Leroy Fair who we're going to take a look at today as well. So if you guys are hyped for a Myron Boadu, I don't even have to ask. The Dutchies and the Al, uh, the AZ supporters, you, you've already smashed like. Smash like on the video if you're an absolute mad lad. Smash like on the video if you want good rewards in your packs tomorrow. And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. So three-star skill moves, five-star weak foot. We already talked about that. High, low, six foot. Has nearly identical stats to Mbappe on his face card, right? Like literally plus one one minus uh, minus one um, very very similar stats there and then you get to the stats 96 acceleration 94 sprint speed with 94 finishing all right plus 90 shot power with the marksman chem style goes up to 88 long shots already has 98 agility goes up to 95 ball control and 94 dribbling with the marksman goes up to 86 strength and then has 96 uh, or has 99 jumping and 82 stamina with the outside the foot shot. So not only is it only an 84 rated card, not only does he have the five star weak foot, ridiculous, ridiculous, like Mbappe icon level stats, but also has an outside the foot shot trait and is a big reason why he's currently extinct at about 100,000 coins because he probably is a player that, I mean, I would imagine he's probably going to play close to maybe like a 200, 250,000 coin player and just really represents what a what a super sub could possibly be. Uh, if you want a true super sub that you can buy for like 20, 30,000 coins, go for that Mislav Orsic. Uh, but uh, today it's all about this Myron Mbadu. We're going to we're going to test out this Leroy Fair, who we did for super, super cheap. Three-star, four-star, uh, find the word bang and goals. So, I mean, pretty much, I would imagine he's pretty much guaranteed to go up to 87. And, um, yeah, interceptions, defensive awareness. Not like the craziest looking card. Really, really good physicals. But if he goes to 87, he'll be absolutely ridiculous. And, of course... We had to, with team number two dropping tomorrow, had to at least squeeze in a Chris Smaldini towards the end of the week. So we're going to test out how the Smaldini plays. We bought him for about 570,000 coins. Match number one with Myron Mbadu, a.k.a. the Dutch Mbappe, Lekron Gazund. 84 Boadu versus 84 Nicholas Pope. We're going to have to pray. We're going to have to send a little prayer to be able to put something past these two. The man's running Samido and, uh, and Joe Gomez as center backs. This guy knows how to win games. Timo Werner. Ingolo Kanté. I love this game! I love this game! <laughs> what is what, what is this game? Man like Boadu doesn't even need skill moves. Oh, 
know about the Mrs. Hunter. I don't love. I, I, what I don't love about that Boadu is how sus that sh that finish was. That finish was so sus. That's, is, is that a pen? That's outside the box? Yikes, okay. Maybe, you know. It's like, I, 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 I can't, I literally can't do anything. He's like, all right, cool. I gotta say, outside of Boadu, I'm none too impressed with literally anyone on my team. But this guy's wrecking me with a, dude, and it, like those are the only cards you need in the game: Rashford and freaking Timo Werner. They're free. That's a, surely that's a pen. That's a pen, right? That's inside the box. 84 Boadu versus 84 Nicholas Pope. Of course. Why, why, why would I be able to say, why, why would I be able to save any pen? Why would I ever be able to save, uh, and, I, and I pressed that by accident, great. Has this what if Smalling been downgraded? You know what's crazy? The regular De Ligt is actually... What's mad is the regular Delict is actually better. The regular Delict is actually better than the What If Smaldini. Look at him. I mean, yeah, sure, the Boadu's nuts, but <laughs> what good is what good is a really attacking what what good is an OP attacking player when you just get absolutely pumped and you're you spend five hundred thousand coins on a small dini that can't even that can't even cover and then in match number two it's not going to be any easier boys I don't know man. Literally sent that guy in the next universe. I mean, he's 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 the lone bright spot in a, he's the lone bright spot on a day where I just can't play FIFA, and that's kind of how you know a player is has elements of an o, o penis, o penis has elements of being op when you're playing when you're having one of those days where you're playing such trash FIFA, but there's one guy in your squad that is literally holding you up. Chris Smallin. I've, I've yeah, okay. yes. yes. I, uh, yes, I love that. That's great. So not only can I not defend, but my Chris Maldini and, and whoever the hell that is decided to do a, uh, decided to scissor right outside the box. Great. Cool. And he literally, he literally sliced through, he literally sliced through defense. Literally, all I did was spam body feints. So, sometimes, like, I'll see a wall of defenders if I'm coming up against the five in the back, and I'll be like, all right, this, this is not going to be any fun, so let's just take a... Let's take a strength pace guy that has no skill moves, and let's just body feint straight through and see if we can get... If we can break through the ranks. And Myron Badu literally just cut through, like, literally, literally four defenders in a row. There's the strength. There's the body feint. Should have been a finish, but of course, you know... It being FIFA 21, it's going to hit at least one guy on the way in. It's like... Avanza Politano.
Chris Maldini. Love that. Boadu, you are a bad man, dude. Five-star weak foot. Is that, all, is that all Manuel Neuer? Blasting it top right. See, Smalling. Again, I, I, I oftentimes struggle. Is it the game or is it the card? Myron Boadu goes in, gets six total attempts, three goals, absolutely lights it up, and uh, showcased on multiple opportunities there, 9.3 rating. Uh, showcased why he might be one of the more OP players in the game. So Myron and Babu to get uh, Myron and Babu, Myron and Boadu get things kicked off, showcasing the dribbling, and then that's the five-star weak foot can put it in with any goal, uh, with any foot. This is back to Myron Bo Boadu. This is the body feint, and like, is this FIFA? Like, look at this. <laughs> Myron Boadu shouldn't be able to do this. Anyone who's ever played a fighting game has run into a move they thought was cheap, overpowered, or even broken. But how do we know if a move is actually too powerful, or if the player is just being a giant crybaby? Of course, anyone could tell why this move is powerful. Myron and Badu? You had my curiosity, and now you have my attention. I'm not gonna lie, they had us in the first half. That first guy literally, that first guy was tough. That first guy was super, super tough. But this this circle right here, this this triangle of Mbadu, Fair, and Aryan Robin, and then that Kleiber, Air Divisie, man, maybe more than any other league, proportionally to how we look at the top leagues, might be the most fun league that we have in FIFA this year. So you guys are wondering, Zwei, is he worth the 100,000 coins? Is it worth sitting there for six hours trying to snipe this card because he's extinct on both markets? I'll say this. Given that the Air Divisie is such a crazy league this year in terms of non-performance based cards, the fact that you can pick up a Leroy Fair 85 pretty much guaranteed to go up to 87, even at his current extinct price point, I got to give the lad because of what he means to the league, I'm going to give this uh, I'm going to give this a 4 to 5 in terms of value in terms of what he means for the league. I'm going to give it a 4 to 5 in terms of on the pitch per, uh, in terms of value. In terms of on the pitch performance, I got to give the lad a 4 to 5. The only reason I'm not giving it 4 and a half is because he doesn't have the th uh, the four star skill moves, but he's got the outside the foot shot. He's got ridiculous ridiculous stats. He has all the stats that you want in all the in all the areas. Sure he could have a little bit more stamina. Maybe he could have finesse shot trait, but he does have outside the foot. Um, and his body uh, body type is one that I didn't find was too prohibitive in terms of being uh, super silky on the ball. You you saw multiple instances where literally I was just using left and long stick where I would cut and then I would cut back the other way and it would send his defender literally flying. Guarantee you, you bring this guy as on a super sub, he's going to instill the absolute fear of God in anyone you're uh, you're playing against. So, but that's going to do it for the Episodia boys. The Myron, M uh, the Myron Boadu, I keep wanting to call him M Boadu because of the Mbappe, but uh, that's going to do it for the Episodia boys. Smash like if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.